Vlogging. Hello, folks. Welcome to the 2017 State of the Office Report. I will be your tour guide. And this, like the last one, is mostly a state of my guitars report because most of this stuff has stayed the same. So we'll keep it quick. The Dark Tower got another 16 gigabytes of RAM. So now we are up to 32. No good reason for that in the world. It generally has about 30 gigs of RAM free at any given time. But it was cheap. It was a sale. Had to do it. I run the entire rig now all the RAM and the CPU through a Behringer Vintage Tube Monster? Not really. I had this problem where the dark tower would just randomly turn off when I wasn't around, and I thought maybe the power supply or something was going hinky. Turns out I have a cat that likes to use this as a stepping stone to my desk when I'm not around, and likes to step on the power button. So the Behringer Vintage Tube Monster is covering the power button, which is just about the only legitimate use of a Behringer Vintage Tube Monster. Everything on the desk is the same. I'm using Visual Studio Code now, which is new. How, how weird has this year last year been? I'm using a Microsoft Code Editor on a Linux workstation. It's the strange times we live in. Everything else in the Digitalia realm is the same. Did get a new keyboard as I do. This is a Corsair Vengeance K65 with Cherry MX Red mechanical keyboard switch, and I like it a lot. It also has this kind of slick aluminum stuff, so it's you know, pimp my keyboard. Got a Steam controller. I don't remember if I had that last time or not, but I never use it. I use this mouse instead for gaming because the Steam controller drives me a little crazy. I do all my gaming on my main rig here now with Steam for Linux, and it just works great. All the usual suspects are still on the wall. These are all the same, same guitars. Got a GNL and a Yamaha and a Michael Kelly and a PRS and my Frankenstrat, my Shred Monster. And I put in a new pickguard and pickups in it this last year. These are Joe Satriani pickups. For the shreddy stuff, these are great pickups. Frank is a beast. I call that Frank my Frankencaster. Well, same, 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 same. Different. My wife got me this for my birthday. It's a parts caster telly with a Squire custom shop <laughs> neck, which is just okay, and a body that somebody made in their garage, which is very nice, but it does have some, I just made it in my garage, just used to it. I put in some new pickups. It's a DiMarzio Twang King in the neck and a True Velvet in the bridge. And it sounds lovely, especially for that post-rock stuff, which every guitarist gets into usually after they hit 40. And my main rig is all different now. It's a Roland JC40. Uh, the Roland JC is is famous for their clean tone and their chorus clean tone, especially its older, larger sister, the JC120. It's just a lovely, lovely sounding stereo amp. It's just great and it's extremely loud. I'm gonna see if this volume knob or not, but I have it set on like one or two notches past off and it is very loud. And some changes down on the floor. We have a TC Electronics Hypergravity Compressor, which is fantastic. It has a multi-spectral option, which means it chops your guitar signal into a couple different frequency bandwidths and compresses each one individually, which gives a much more natural compression. You don't get that squash kind of dull sound you can get with compressors. It's very nice. TC Electronic Sentry Noise Gate, Wampler Euphoria, I got this pedal this year. It is a lovely, lovely sounding pedal, especially for the bright, gritty, post rocky kind of stuff. Very lovely. Still have my Pinnacle Deluxe. I've turned the gain down a bit, and I'm using this more as a, so it's like a, a slightly dirty, a little bit dirty. And then for my fill, 
I got a Friedman BEOD, which is just filthy. Naughty pedal. You're a naughty pedal. And I have a TC Electronics flashback delay in the loop. And it's a stereo loop on the JC40, which is nice. A Digitech Supernatural Ambient Reverb. You can kind of get the post-rock theme going here. And a Digitech Looper, because I mostly just play with myself. And that's the state of the office. Not a whole lot has changed, but tradition is tradition, and we got to do these. Hopefully next year I will do something non-music related that's different. But this sit-stand desk with the writable top and all my, my entire rig, it's just been great. So I haven't had much reason to change anything. All right, folks. I'll see you next year.